Hi, and welcome back to Pia Tech Talk and to this third episode of the ThreadX. The first episode that, we, uh, that I launched a couple of months ago was based on how to start with ThreadX and how to make some tasks, etc. And uh, the second one we built upon the first video by adding semaphores. And in this we will continue uh, by building on the second video and we will then add also some cues into this. And that is mainly for uh, having a communication between or data exchange between tasks. So if you haven't uh, the project from before, take a look on the ThreadX1, the Blinky, and the ThreadX2, the Semaphores. And if you don't want to do all the coding by yourself, give me some information in the chat and uh, I will then uh, see to that you can get uh, downloaded the zipped files so you can continue as well. So hope that you have your project ready and uh, your coffee ready and uh, let's start. So here we have our three projects, uh, the Blinky and the Semaphore and the Qs. And the Qs are uh, just the copy of the Semaphore. And if you're not familiar with how you copy, I made some videos on that one as well. So I will put links into the video description. But we open this, uh, the Q file and we go under Core, Source. And we can then immediately start with App Threads. And uh, there is where we do everything, uh, the, mainly, the main thing of it. So the first thing that we need to do is to define a couple more stacks. So I will make, I will remain all the stacks or all the tasks that we had before. I will just uh, make some changes to add uh, or add two new tasks. So one uh, is a uh, temp task or temp thread and I will give that a stack size of 1024 and I will also have a UART uh, stack uh, with the same size and I will also define a queue uh, where we store the messages in between and I, I need to define that size as well and the total demo is going on like this so uh, we will have the temperature thread and in the temperature thread, I will uh, sample some temperature uh, using the DTS, the digital temperature sensor, and store that in the queue. And uh, then wait one second and then do it all over again. And in the other task, the UART, it will be waiting for some uh, task or some queues to be populated. So when the queue is the empty it will just wait for something to be put into the uh, to the queue and while there is something in the queue it will take that information and just print it so that is how we now can change or uh, move information from one task to another task uh, we then also need to have some private variables So we go down here where we ended the last time. We have these three stacks uh, or the three threads up here and a semaphore. So we need then to uh, put some more information here. So I, I create a, a thread for the temp thread. And I also do the same for the UART and the pointers there exactly like we did up here but we just give it another name and also that we have the for the queue and then we create the stack for the temperature and the temperature thread stack size i could actually do uh, use the thread stack size on all of these but just to be clarified and the same for the UART there, also the stack size. And for the Q, then I have a smaller stack size. So then I use the Q stack size. So that is on 256. And that is also too big because I will only send 32-bit um, uh, uh, value every time. 
Then we need to define uh, some uh, externals and that one uh, will be declared in uh, main C file. So we just put them in here as well. So it, it, you know how to find them. We, we will enable the DTS uh, using the cube configurator. But we just put them there so we don't forget them. And uh, we need also to declare the prototypes for our uh, new functions. So I said that I will make two uh, threads, so we need to define them there, so that is done. And then we need to uh, start or create both tasks and the queue. So we go under here where we have created our three tasks prior and also the semaphore. So this is how you create the uh, queue uh, in uh, app thread init. So if we first of all take a look in this parameter. So the uh, at temp queue is a pointer to TX queue structure. It represents the queue that is being created. The structure will hold information about the queue, such as the current state, the number of messages it can hold, and a pointer to its memory system. Uh, the next part here is a string that uh, uses the queue. Uh, it can be used before debugging and, and to identify the queue in if there is uh, multiple queues in the system. The next parameter, the one here, uh, specify the size of each message in the queue in units of u long and uh, that is typical of uh, four bytes uh, in this application. So that means that uh, every message we store in the queue is having the size of four bytes or a 32-bit. And then we have the queue stack that is a pointer to the memory area where we will be storing the messages in the queue. And uh, the next one is the 256. It specifies the number of total available bytes in the memory area for the queue. Uh, so that means in the, the memory area pointed by the queue stack is 256 is given by each message is one long, that is four bytes. So we can have 256 divided by 4 and that equals 64 messages. So this is totally overkill for our application uh, because we, can only, uh, own, own, we will only be using one. And we can also uh, replace that Q stack size with this variable or this um, declaration up here. So that is the same size, same thing. Then we need to create the three um, tasks. So we have the uh, three tasks here that we already have, the LD1, the LD2, the LD3. And uh, we will now then go down. So now I have just entered the skeleton for the new two threads. Uh, that is the temperature thread entry. And we also have the second uh, UART thread entry. So we will populate this information here. But before we do that, uh, we can just hit save on this one. Uh, and we can then hit the IOC button here, thread execute IOC. Okay, so now we have started the CubeMX. Uh, we would like to add this uh, DTS. So we go under the DTS and we activate that one. And we go under clock configuration to make sure that 
what clock we have. Uh, we change this one to 100 megahertz. So to 100 megahertz. And we get down to pin configuration again. And uh, the reason for it that we need to have this P clock uh, to uh, set that to uh, 100, uh, to 1 uh, megahertz. So we need to have a divider for 100 there. And we give it so like 10 cycles sampling time as well. So if we now look into the main C file here, we can see that we now have the uh, handler for the DTS and uh, we also then have the handler for the UART3. Uh, so they are declared here in the main C file. And those were that uh, the one that I put as an externals here. So they are already declared. Great, so now we need to put some information into this uh, temp thread. So here we have the temp thread now that I have populated with some information on. So first of all, I will create a variable uh, with the name temperature, and then I have a while one loop up here. So it will just go through this loop altogether. So first of all, we start the DTS and check it so there is no errors. And when it has started without any problems, then we get the temperature from it and uh, the handler is then the DTS and it puts the value in the variable var temperature, which we declared up here. Uh, what uh, do we send then is just print from uh, the temperature and I also put the text from the temp thread. So we know that the information in the printf comes from this task, nothing else. And afterwards, uh, we put that value, the temperature value into the queue, the temp queue. And we wait forever until, so it, it will actually be placed there. And when that is done, we will stop the DTS and uh, we will wait for one second and then we will start over again. So that is what this task will do. And then we have the, the, the next task. So then we have the UART thread here. So uh, I declared a value or variable called received value. So we, we know that we're not cheating by taking this uh, up, up here. So I create a new uh, received value. So what this does, it also has a while one loop. So it comes to this position here when this task is uh, executed. So it says if the queue receive uh, from the temp queue, uh, and if there is anything, it will put that into the receive value and it will wait forever and, uh, to be populated there from. So, is there, so if there is nothing in the temp queue, it will just wait until there is something in the temp queue. And as soon as there is something in the temp queue, it will take that information and put that in the received value and go on to the next state here and it will be then printing the received value. If you would like to do, you can also do like this, you can uh, hide this one and try to use uh, print the variable temperature that is declared up here and you won't have a success with that because this task doesn't see this uh, variable at all so it can't, it can't process it. But if you would like to test it, it's fine. So if you would like to, to have it to be working, you need to use the received value that is up here. So we're trying to compile it and hope for there are no errors. So there were no errors and uh, we then need to also have an um, 
you what? So, and the board is the Nucleo H563 set I, as I used in the last uh, video as well. So we will try to download the code into the microcontroller. So it immediately started. So we just put launch there. So now we can see that there are can hit stop there. So now it says it's from the temperature uh, thread we get 33 and then immediately we get from the UART thread as well the same value. And to see what is happening in the queue we can go down under window under show view thread X and there you can show the queues. Okay so now I managed to change the window so here we can see the, the message message queue and here we can see the thread list so we don't care about the first uh, four threads that is the LED blinkers but we are taking a looking on to these two instead the temp thread and the UART thread and we can see what status they are in so if we step over So it, it will be yellow as soon as there is a change from the last uh, view. So we can do like this, we can reset everything. And we can just go on MX thread in it. So now we will we'll come into the thread X. So it said they're waiting for the user button to be pressed. That was from the last one in the semaphore. And um, here we will now see that it will put this one in the queue. And we can also see that the task that is running now is this one, the temp thread. So that one is running and this one is ready to run. So it would like to run, but this one is uh, having priority uh, currently. And we can also see the run count here. We just reset the project so that is zero. Now we saw that there is one used on this queue here. And uh, so it just put it there. And uh, if we now then continue. We went to sleep in this task, so it says sleep, and this one was ready to run, so it started immediately. And it will then take this byte up here, this temperature value. So now that is zero. And it will then print it, so we will see it here from this, from the UART. So this finalized the third of my ThreadX series and uh, we now took a look on the queues. And if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and if you have some comments give me some chat in the comments below. And if you're not a subscriber please consider to do so. And so until I see you next time, stay safe!